hopefully that's okay for everybody. There you go, let's turn their night vision on. That's good. Fab. That everyone's happy. I have to update the NVIDIA driver and everything before the stream and then everything crashed and everything didn't crash. And... Anyway, good news. Good news. I've managed to get hold of a new PC from a place called Chill Blast in the UK. And I went for the i9 instead of AMD. I know. But I also went with the 3080 graphics card. I know. I'm very excited about this. The NVIDIA 3080. Very excited. I just hope it gets here. And gets here quick. So I've changed my um, key bindings to the default key bindings. So I'm going to bear with me. You're at T for Torch. And it's so dark... Quite literally can't see a thing. Looks like there's buildings over in over this direction. Yep, I think we're going in the right way. Look how dark it is. Insert to engage power regulate into regulator housing in the power plant of the power center. Yes, folks, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And picking up stuff along the way. So, let's see what we got here. Power. Oh, just so happens there it is. Wait, is there anybody mincing about? Doesn't look like there is. Now, I've had a couple of missions like this. Threat level zero, playing in solo, right? Cut the panel off, and I get shot from behind. Energy you know, threat level zero. Yeah, 3080, right? Managed to get it from a place called um, Chill Blast. They had one in stock. But I went and bought a complete system, so. Entering pressurized environment. No, oh, that's done that, isn't it? Um, right. Lab. Power. I feel like I'll cut my way in through that one then. So it's an i9, 3080, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Need a little bit of work on the hard drives. It's only a 500 gigabyte for the operating system drive. But that's easy enough to change out. All the areas have been cleared out. God, we're certainly getting our way through cutting all these doors, aren't we? Four to five months. Yeah, like I say, for some reason they had one. Um, in stock, like a pre-built system, unless it was a return and they fixed it and put it back out there. I don't know. Who knows? Now I've got it. Or hopefully I've got it. Aha! Here we go, folks. Have I done it? Power 
Power center initiation confirmed. Engaging power regulator. And there you go. Well, yeah, um, this one's, it's exactly that, but a 500 gigabyte one. So they're about, I don't know, 150 quid on Amazon. Power center. So I think I'll sort that out. It, check it out. Check it out. Power on. Tick in the box. 200,000. If I can get back 200,000 credits. There you go. Power calls online. How Star Trek is that? Good look round, see what's see what's knocking about. Ooh. Nothing. Typical. I sold all my last stuff to the guy at the bar. Let's leave that area. Now the lights are on, we can see a little bit better what's going on. That's all restricted. There you go. Mission accomplished. Let's um, call the taxi. Where am I going? I'm going back to my station. I'm going to cash this one in. Come hell or high water. Okay. See, it won't let you. Oh, now it has. Another charge port over there. Um, nothing over here to pick up. There's a lab there. Have I got access to that? Restricted area. Let's get to the shuttle. Get to the chopper. Leaving pressurized environment. Right, skimmers have come online. That's fabulous. There's the shuttle. Shuttle docked. Ready for boarding. Oh why? We're off ski. Put my shields on just in case. And here we go. Right, as long as no one shoots the shuttle down. I should be alright. E, board. Take me back to the station, Mr. Shuttleman. That's what it's all about. Under so I'm under attack now? Why? Run away really quickly. Quick, quick, quick. No, I see, why are they? Ah! Oh. What's all this about? Do you know what I mean? What is all this about? Oh well. Try, try, try again. Hey. Let's redeploy. Confirm and redeploy. This has happened to me. Turn on the power. Good point. How do I do that? Have I got to cut into them? Do you think? I want to help the 
See what it is. Bloody hard work is what it is. You know, I've done him a solid gold favour. Same room up the stairs. Ah, right, okay. Let's try, let's try that again then. You never know. Right. Oh, come on. Right. There's one. Threat level zero. Fab. Accept. Accept mission. Back. Exit. Exit again. Over to Claudia Cox. So I bet she does. Right. See, and this is the good thing about playing it online. I just don't know where to turn that off. So if it's upstairs, I'll turn it off. Right. Okay, cool. It's not too far away. Come on. There we go. Goodbye. <sighs> yeah, there we go. E, go to the hangar. Let's try that again. Well, this is it, isn't it, Brian? Because normally you wouldn't bother with this taxi service. You'd be rocking up in your ship and you'd say, come on in, base lasers, do your worst. Irritating. That's what it is. It's going to be one of those streams today. You can tell, like. Shouldn't take too long to get there, though. It's a difference in the cockpit. They still haven't fixed all the... Coloured the seats in. Um, let's go to my inventory. Transfer. I want a power regulator. Oh. Try that again. Um. Transfer. I want a power regulator, if you please. Transfer from ship. Okay. Med kit energy cell. Ibex the goat. How's it going, mate? Couple of things have been, I've still got because they've been stolen. I'll just cash all them in next time. So I got an energy cell. Personally, I want ship cargo, consumables. I should have. I should have all what I need. Not a fan of the colour scheme. Right, there you are. 
transfer from ship. Brilliant. Okay. Let's see. Oh, can we can't be that far away. Oh. These taxi rides are kidding me. It's like advanced taxi simulator. This is exactly what it is. It's not elite dangerous. It's like taxi dangerous simulator. Elite dangerous taxi. Dangerous elite taxi. Taxi elite dangerous. The odyssey of the taxi of elite dangerous. A taxi name odyssey. Or waiting around getting irritated because there's absolutely... Do you know what? <laughs> I know. I know. No ships in game, dude. Not for this phase. They're making everyone travel by taxi. It's utterly soul-destroying. Utterly soul-destroying. Honestly, don't know what we're going to do. Craziness. Which means you've got to sit here and wait. Yeah, it's as, it is as bad as an elite loading screen. I mean, you know, I, just for... We just look at the pilot and just irritate him. Perhaps we'll turn the night vision on so we can see a bit. There we are. Just there looking at him all day. There's a few missions or a few things happening in the main game I'm quite interested in. Um, that I'll do over the weekend. Old Galnet News, isn't it? Um, they found some ship. Go and check that out. What have we got? All these are... You can see where they took the... They took this, didn't they? Um... Oh look, Thargoid Conflict. Good to have a little bit of, you know, yeah, cocktail hour. I finished for the Easter break. Um, there was one where they found some ship that was broken, wasn't it? Switch into the radar view. <laughs> oh God. Comes to this, I'm reading Galnet. That is serious stuff. And it, I don't think it's even the latest stuff, is it? Because there's no nothing in there about. No, none of that in there. Anyway, there, there's a ship that apparently has been found, right? Um. There you go. There's a ship that has been found. And um, I might go and see, check that out in the main game. Uh, do a little bit of, little bit of combat on the weekend. Do a little bit of this. I've also got, again, what I call Evil Genius to have a go with that. So I might have a, uh, a quick play of that. You know, see how that's going. Um... Who knows? This week's community goal. Yeah, I saw that. More combat, wasn't it? The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. So I might have a go at that as well. Of course, you know, in the UK, we've got 
long weekend, four day weekend now. Just not entirely sure Mrs. Ricardo is going to let me stream all weekend. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. There we are, we're back. 52,000 light seconds to go. And I'll get there and I'll get shot again. You watch. You never know. Her area's habitat. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, yeah, you're right. Evil Genius does look pretty cool. I've had a, a quick go at it. And it's good. I mean, I, I, rem I vaguely remember playing Evil Genius 1 about 20 years ago. Brian, it's got to be tough being off work until May, mate. It's going to be real tough. I mean, fortunately for me, the IT industry has carried on as normal. I mean, working from home and, you know, it's, it's just more of the same. But I know some industries have been really hard hit. Hospitality industry, you know, all that sort of stuff, especially gyms. Sixteen thousand light seconds to go. It's going to be a shorter stream tonight. I'm not going to go on for the best part of three hours. And besides, I think Frontier is streaming. They're streaming now, aren't they? So, um, no doubt, all you lot are going to log off and watch that bunch. But this is raw. This is the coal face, right? This is cutting edge. No special instance for me. This is how the game plays. These taxi rides are just so boring. And I was reading up and they were saying, yeah, we know it's not going to seem as long in the real, in the main game, outside of Alpha. They've chosen this one system because there's a lot of distances between it all. But surely, right, choosing a system like this, this test system, and making the distances long or lengthy in time, they're missing out on telemetry. It, I would imagine it would have been, they want telemetry from people I mean, in this part, right? How much telemetry are they getting from this? Right? How much telemetry are they getting from this? As opposed to the telemetry they're getting on how the planet missions are actually working. How are the, the player v player combats working? You know, to me, that's it, programming. This is easy in compared to programming a mission on a planet or you know peer-to-peer -peer combat that i think that in to me is the hard part Fifteen seconds. I can feel the excitement building.
Look at that. I'm up to the trade rank of peddler. Ooh, I hear you say, yes. Peddler, eh? Come on, get to the planet. Oh, of course, it's the other side of the planet. Yeah, you're right there. I mean, their mission, they made it look so easy. Well, we're going to go in. We're going to hold them off with our weapons. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're approaching our destination. Look at that, they haven't even shaded the guy's face in. They're just relying on the fact that, you know, it's dark. Come on, dude, get it on the deck. I could have landed quicker than this. You got shields, haven't you? Okay, then. Attempt par deux. At least there's a bit of daylight going on. Right. Doesn't hang about, does he? High temperatures. Oh, the sun's out. Got me big gun just in case. Right, let's try this again then. Oh, of course, it's on fire, isn't it? Where's the fire extinguishers, anybody? I'm gonna go somewhere else and find fire extinguishers. Ah, right, okay. I get you. Power center initiation confirmed. Engaging power regularly. Okay. The only problem with that is I'm kind of assuming
I honestly don't know why I bother. Honestly, don't know why I bother. Hmm. <laughs> the learning curve for this is as high as, as sharp as. Mount Everest. It's just, just like that, isn't it? It's just ridiculous. Mission board. Oh, come on. Mission board. Right. Support. Okay. That's got fires on it as well. I typically want one that, hasn't got, that isn't burning would be nice. That's fires. That's got no fires. I stand the chance of getting that, right? Right. Exit. Exit again. I know, I know things have to be difficult, but... Do you know what? Some of this is taking the mick. Oh, that's bloody miles away. Look at it. That's going to take six weeks to get to. Have a good trip. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Glad to have you on board. This is going to take a while, everybody. This is clunky. Really clunky. So, this is probably going to take a good 10 minutes.
not even sure if that planet's round. Thirty-four thousand light seconds. Okay, it's not not too bad. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be elite if it was quick. I'm just saying, you know. I think these mission. I mean, I failed two missions for what? For what reason? I wasn't on fire. I wasn't standing near any fire, from what I can see. Um. I got shot by turrets. Let's think about the logic of being shot by those turrets. So they paid me to go and put the power regulator in to restore power. Yet the turret shot me. Where's the logic in that? You know? Where's the logic? You had pressed to put any logic in there. I think. At this rate, I'll be going back to my picking up documents missions because they're bloody a lot more easier. Carvajal Manufacturing Plant. Makes you wonder. <laughs> I Spy. Yeah, it could be a thing, can it? Frontier, please put a copy of I Spy. Um... <laughs> so, are we there yet, Dad? Just another farmer's field, son. Just another farmer's field. You think, Phew. those farmer's fields, God, they're huge, aren't they? They've done something. I don't recognise those buttons there. Um, I think there might have been a little bit of a change, a little bit of a tweak. Who knows? They're tweaking things all the time, mind, aren't they? I mean, round there looks a bit fresh, doesn't it? It is, yeah. Very dark. But then again, isn't is that lazy programming? I usually find if things are dark. What are they hiding, right? What are they hiding if things are dark? But, you know, you want to see, you want to see color. You want to see, you know, different palettes. Passenger seat belt markers, the unoptimized graphics. All that, and they still haven't colored the chairs in. I think, you know, when they get to the phase two of the alpha, I think a lot of people are going to be saying things like, well, okay, you're phase two of the alpha now. Is there going to be a drastic improvement other than just an optimized graphics and, and what have you? They'll want to see, people will want to see drastic improvements. And I don't think that will be in the roadmap. I mean, they're fixing things as, as things go along and, and, and fair, fair enough with them. I mean... We're seeing the updates come in, but so far, in recent memory, 
No Man's Sky, when they started releasing their updates after the first horrendous release. You know, it's um They were on the ball. They were they were making releases to code left, right and centre for a long period of time. So they're saying next Wednesday for phase two. Mm, interesting. So perhaps, you know, beta will finish, a alpha will finish, and they'll move to a beta model. I don't know. No one's asked, really, have they? A week. Or just over a week to gain telemetry. Perhaps they're getting what they need. Ibex, catch you later. Where did the radar and the fuel go? Exactly. They have changed the user interface. Ace, how are you doing? I'm attempting to do turn the power on missions. I've had two attempts. On attempt one, I got shot. On attempt two, I burned to death. Third time's the charm. So, let's have a look. Got our loadouts here. We've got that one. There. We've got this one. Here. So they've changed that a bit from what the normal user interface is. That's the same. We've got ship cargo, consumables, all the usual stuff. The arc cutter, you've got to have the suit. You've got to have the maverick suit and key bindings. I've got my maps to number five. Here we are, boys and girls. We're going in. Carver Gel Manufacturing. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I have. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Well, what I've done is back up your key bindings to your, your standard game, right? And then go in. Um, I've got mine bound to number five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll show you now. Um, options, controls, down to one foot. Got all this sorted out.
all this stuff. Select suit specific tool. Number five, select profile analyzer. Number four, select energy link. Number three, so it's by here. And then with the tool selected, press R and that changes it to different functionality. Oh, we're down. Excellent news. Let's see if I can last longer than 25 seconds this time. You just never know. You never know. Here we go. Oh, Ace, thank you very much, mate. You didn't have to do that. I never ask for this. Sort of That's lovely, though. Thank you very much. I'll go in the war chest towards my PC. <laughs> so it looks rather industrial, doesn't it? Look at that. See, got the industrial thing over there. No one seems to be mincing about. Right, number five. There's my cutter. Here we go. Ready. That's a good effect, that, isn't it? Look at that. Out. Here we go. E. There you go. Confirm that. Power center initiation confirmed. It's going in. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I think it'd be using our existing stuff. Power reactivation. So there's the panel then to interact with the activator if, um, if it was on fire. I'm just wondering if I'm going to get shot by those turrets. Nothing to do there. Let's charge the suit up. Right, we're all... We're all on that. Nothing else to do, I don't think. And that's the atmosphere. So I could... Purge the atmosphere, turn the air off. Let's turn it on. So yeah, I guess um, those bloody things are there. Look. That's industrial. That's industrial. There's a lovely turret. What's this? Entering pressurized environment. Is 
yeah, there was there was um, nothing there. So we'll have a look around. What's this about? Synthesis automation unit, party hall, industrial espionage. See if I can find the command center. There's got the turrets are going to be on the command center, isn't it? And there it is up there. Will it let me in? Ooh, it will. So have a look around. Restricted area in there. We've got a crate. Ooh. We'll have all that. What's this? Atmosphere panel. Let's go upstairs. See what's see what's knocking about up here. We got a locker. Grenade case. Not allowed in there. And we are not allowed in there. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there is going to be lasers that are going to shoot me down. I suppose the easiest thing is, right, is to call the taxi. And... Um, What, so you're saying I should go into the restrict go into the restricted areas? Okay then. Where are they? I've kinda gotta We incur sanction okay, we'll incur sanction. Ah, turret. Anti personnel turrets disabled. Right, I think we're I think we're good. But you'd think, right? After you saying, okay, you know, it, it, I'm doing the mission for you and all the rest of it. Where's the bloody shuttle? Um, yeah, you got to be in. I'll show you. If I can get to the taxi. Wherever that might be. Of course, I don't know where the bloody thing is. Right, there's nothing round here, is there? And by the time I get to it, it's going to have gone.
There should be a little icon that says, yep, your taxi's here. And that's where it is. So turrets are offline. Cool, because I would have been zapped. Find the tap there. Aha! I see. I hadn't noticed that before. It's not there. Come on, taxi with a bloody hell are you? So we're right in assuming that's the taxi, right? Do I want to earn some easy money? There's no easy money, ISO, in this game, mate. Absolutely no easy money at all. I'm just trying to complete one of these missions without having my ass handed to me. Do you know what? I'm going to cancel the booking. ETA imminent. So come on, drive. I just can't catch a break here. For all I know, it's turned up and then buggered off. How can you have earned four million today? There's got to be something wrong here, isn't there? Really? Cool. See if I can finish this one first. Well, this taxi, as far as I know... ...hasn't turned up. But I might have missed it. What do we think? I'm, I'm going to cancel it. Your shuttle has departed. What do you mean it's departed? It's not bloody year. Tell you what. Right, so here we are, I'm waiting.
Well, I'm probably at the wrong landing pad. There it is. I reckon I missed it. Is there a way to report bugs? Yeah, via the forum, Sea Green. And if it crashes, there'll be a crash report that comes up on the screen. Right. All the turrets are off. Take me back to the station so I can cash in. I'm going to stock up on all this stuff. And I'm going to sell it to the barkeep. Right. Confirm items. Let's see what I cash in for them. <laughs> Quick, turn the turrets on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't been shot yet. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? Well, thank you very much for letting me in on that. That's good stuff. I mean, if you were doing something naughty, like you were going in and turning the power off, right? And these turrets had a backup power supply, then you could turn it, then that I could see you were doing something clandestine that was against the, the station and they would be well within their right to shoot you. However, as I wasn't, I was helping them out and turning the power back on Right? I find that a bit ridiculous. If you know what I mean. So. Right. How to edit your suit in the ship. You look down. Into loadouts. Into manage loadouts. And you can switch between your loadouts there. And your manage loadouts brings this up. It says loadouts can only be equipped in ships, yours or any apex or frontline ship. And I've got mine selected. No worries. So I found all this out uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that. Oh. There we go. But... What a steep learning curve in the game, I've got to say. What a steep learning curve in the game. Hey, so ISO, did you see that image I posted of us on, on my channel in the community section? Look at the community section. That snapshot I took in the station yesterday, it's in there.
So into Hopkins City. Turn this mission in. Cool. Not sure if I've been fined for breaching the restricted area. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Can you imagine we get a few more content creators all standing behind? Problem is, they will have the old goatee beards going on. You won't be able to tell who it is. Yeah, so, excited about the new PC. 3080 graphics card, 10 gigabytes of RAM on that graphics card. Uh, it's an RTX. So, excited about that. And like I say, I went for the Intel i9. So, the Comet Lake. 10 cores, 5.3 um, gigahertz. 32 gigabyte of RAM, with room for more, more to expand. And... Um, it was a one terabyte SSD and a 500 megabyte Fire CUDA in it. So I can change that out and put a one terabyte in and I can put then a traditional 7200 uh, Barracuda drive in there, which would be nice and fast. And that should be all the space I need. Right, well, I bought the whole PC from Chill Blast. Because I was looking for an upgrade anyway. Because mine's an i7, like, third or fourth gen. So, it's not all that powerful. It's only got, like, four cores on it. So, um, and it's seven years old. Even though it's been upgraded with a, a 1070 graphics card. And SSDs, you're there and everywhere, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. This one's water-cooled and, and everything. Yeah, it's fluid. Fluid cooling. So it says. I know. Well, I'll be doing a video on it when it turns up. So I'm quite excited. So but then you think, where do you stop? You think, oh, shall I have a new monitor? Hmm. What about a new mouse and a new keyboard? Hmm. You know, where, where, where do you, where do you draw the line, you know? Um, and I probably will need another monitor because I'm using an old monitor over here to look at my chat, right there. And of course I'm using my main monitor here, which is great. Um, I hear the keyboard I've got here is seven years old. So, you know, technology all moves on, isn't it? Remember to change the fluid each year. Well... I know now, don't I? <laughs> yeah. I have to see what... It might, if it's a closed system, then I won't need to. That's the thing. You know? Um, because I spend all my day in front of a computer, particularly this computer, and I do all my creative stuff for work on it, and then I'm on it as well in my free time. I feel justified. Or I've justified it to myself. That's what I do. I've justified it to myself. Um, and as a result of that. Why not? And YouTube's being pretty good to me at the moment. It could always be better. But you know it's. Views are up. That's not really down to Elite Dangerous. That's down to Subnautica. Oh, no, 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 well, yeah, the missus, I rang her up, she was out with the kids, and I said, um, big news, she said, oh, yeah, what's that? I said, well, I've bought a new PC. She went, oh, right, okay, then, um, I'll give, I'll buy you that for your birthday. I said, well, that's awfully generous of you. <laughs> I said, I don't think even the 50th birthday which is what I got coming up, will justify what I, I said. It's very kind of you, I said, but a donation. Yeah, line goes dead, and I'll be dead shortly after. Um, 
So I've just noticed they just come back now and they no one's come out to say like I'm back. So they're It could be a bit frosty tonight. So if I'm not streaming tomorrow, I'm probably dead. Or at least I've been badly injured. So send help. But all joking aside, um, for the machine, and I normally I build these myself, right? But like we were saying here, you can't get the components, right? And I thought, yeah, you got it, Brian. I bought the complete system. Well, the base unit anyway. Like I say, I normally I build them myself. But sometimes, it's less hassle. And there's a warranty, and God knows whatever else with it, and I just need it to work. I just need it to work. I mean, my past PCs, I've had water cooling in it and everything, and it's, it's, they look absolutely amazing. And I've had heat transfer problems, and you know. And then, the last PC I had, the one I've got now, was a HP MV Phoenix. And it was their top of the range gaming PC back then. And it cost me about 1200 quid. And it had a GTX 770 in it and same processor and you know SSD and all that sort of stuff. And I've been able to add to it over the years to keep me playing games like this. And it's managed up until now, right? And it's only until about now I've realized, yeah, I'm starting to need a change. Meet you in the bar. <laughs> Good stuff. Yo. Stay safe out there. I'm just being told. Tea's ready. And she looks quite annoyed. So what I'll do, I'll hand my mission in. And um, I'll pop off. I So I'll, I'll meet up with you tomorrow, mate. If that's okay. On the weekend, we'll do some missions. But I've got to hand this in because I have lost out on the best part of a million credits by things shooting me and um, being set on fire and utter ridiculous. I know. Um, and here's the thing, see, right? I mentioned the beginning of the stream. I was at a threat level zero planet, no one about, playing in, in private, and I got shot in the back. I was definitely in, you know, um, a solo play. There should, be, should have been nobody there. Completed mission. Oh, I'll have the money, please. Brutal Enforcer, thanks for the follow, dude. Skip animation. Ooh, look at that. 263,000 credits. So there you have it. So, I said it would be a short stream tonight, as I've been summoned by Urindors. Streaming again tomorrow night, don't worry. Um, I'll be back. Thanks very much for watching. And do you know what? Hey, I'll catch you over the weekend, over the Easter break. No worries. I hope um, you all have a nice Easter weekend. If you don't join the stream, no worries. I'll catch you sometime. Look out for the videos. Uh, normally on the weekends, on a Saturday and Sunday, it's about 3 o'clock-ish. GMT, I start streaming. So we're going about then. But I'll try and get a, a cheeky stream in uh, tomorrow night. Take it easy, stay safe, and um, hey, don't go getting no COVIDs. That's what I say. See you soon.